Welcome back to the home of cinephiles. Now, I've used that word quite a bit. So, what does cinephile really mean? Uh, uh, uh no, 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 that's not right. Andre, cut. Andre, we did the title card already. Why are you playing it again? Sorry about that. The Cat in the Hat stars Mike Myers as the proverbial Dr. Seuss villain, The Cat in the Hat. This movie follows the cat trying to teach siblings Conrad and Sally the proper way to have fun on a rainy day. All the while, their hot mom is at work trying to get ready for a dinner party she's hosting for her germaphobic boss. So let's get into this. The cat claims that his motives are to teach the children how to have fun, in the most absurdist and extreme ways, only for it to go terribly wrong and blow up in the children's faces. Well, what if I told you that was a fucking lie? Propagated by our parents to try to make us believe that having fun is messy and dangerous. That's right, I'm here to prove to you that the mom hired the cat through a scared straight service to get her children and her family's life back on track. I'm fucking on to you, buddy. Huh? Huh? What you gonna do? I'm on to you. I'm, I'm fucking on you. I'm fucking on to you. I'm on... So let's start from the beginning. Both of her children fucking suck. Sally is a boring as hell stuck up kiss ass. Boom, roasted. Oh my God. Conrad is a fucking reckless maniac who'll probably end up in jail for something. Boom, roasted. And the mom's boyfriend is Alec Baldwin. Boom, convicted. Am I allowed to say that joke? No. Anyways, mom's boyfriend Alec Baldwin is actually secretly a disgusting slob that is trying to mooch the money off of her and send Conrad away to military school. So, hmm, everything seems to be a little bit off for the mom's life, doesn't it? That's why she's cleaning house. And I don't mean cleaning a house, we'll get to that later. I mean she's, like, cleaning house, like she's getting rid of all her problems at once. Come on, fucking keep up, we're gonna pick up the pace here. And it's her boyfriend that gives her the idea to send Conrad to military school. But hmm, that's a lot of money. So what does she do instead? She hires the cat. Because the cat's gonna get my kids in shape. So let's write this down. Life going bad, time to fix. Next up, one of the first things that the cat does is have the children sign release forms to get rid of all liability from his back. Because if you ever watched the show Beyond Scared Straight, like I shockingly did at the age of 10, you would probably assume that there's a lot of emotional trauma going on in that show after the fact. So boom, the cat had a waiver and a ton of lawyers. Write it down, waiver. Next. Oh, have the children been having a little bit too much fun? They don't see the dangers of having fun and going crazy? Let's ramp up the craziness. Maximum security imprisonment unleashes thing one and thing two. Literal fucking destructive monsters. Write that down, imprisoned fear tactics. Moving on. Once Alex suspects that something's kind of going a little bit weird, poof, he disappears. And as far as we know, he dies. But is he really dead? No, dumb fuck, it's a children's movie. But he went insane and he embarrassed himself in front of the woman that he was trying to mooch money off of, so bye-bye, boyfriend. Problem solved. But Alex's disappearance reveals the mother of all messes. That's right, we have reached the peak of stress and fear in the children's minds. They are forced to face the consequences of their own actions. And they kick the cat out because they're angry with him, so now they're forced to do the shit alone. Okay, but, but on a side note... Come here. Come here. Doesn't the goo seem, like, really tasty? Like, I, I, I kind of want to eat the purple goo. Like, it, it looks pretty yummy. You know you know what I'm... It looks pretty yummy. I, I wasn't being serious. No, don't... Don't... No. Oh, oh, my God. Why are you... Don't eat the goo. What the fuck? What? No. Now there's bugs inside your brain. No. No, they're clouding your mind. Don't you feel the bugs? Going all over the place. They're behind your eyes. The bugs are behind your eyes. You need to get rid of the bugs. They're behind your eyes. That's really scary. You need to get rid of the bugs. What are you doing? Your eye. On the board, self-reflective climax. So once the children have learned the errors of their ways and the true sibling bond has been formed, the cat returns to clean the house. And the cat's final assessment? The 
the kids are just right. So let's reread the evidence, shall we? Actually, no, I'm not going to tell you again. You can read it. No, take your time. You done? Okay. So the final conclusion, fun in moderation. Achieved by forcefully being put in the worst extremes possible by the scared straight for hire, who waltzes his way down the street while a dinner party is going on inside the house. Oh, you're fucking joking. You want more evidence? Fine. Oh my god, you're so fucking needy. <sighs> In the 15th episode of season two of the hit family-friendly show, Family Guy, this cutaway scene occurs. Look, your, your parents will be home any minute. Are you sure you don't want me to clean up this mess? No, no, no. Don't. Don't. It'll be funny. So that means the cleanup is part of the cat's M.O., indicating it is a scared straight service that failed in the case of Peter Griffin, but succeeded in the case of Sally and Conrad. This has been your weekly dose of Brain Dead Cinema. Tune in next week where we get to analyze the secret prequel to the franchise that inspired torture porn. She cat on my hat. She cat on my hat. She cat on my hat till I know a lot about that. Okay, no, but like a side note, wasn't like the cat really fucking horny for the mom? Like that was a little weird, wasn't it? Okay, another theory. The mom was trying to get rid of Baldwin because she's secretly dating the cat. That's right, the mom is fucking the-